Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for joining us here at CCSC. Welcome back to our new Washington, D.C. build. We have a few problems that we desperately, desperately need to take care of in today's episode. We are going to go ahead and hit play, bump this up to three times speed, and then we're going to take care of this traffic. We're going to pause it real quick. Now, what my idea is, and I think it's not going to work in the long run... We're going to take this two-lane highway here and upgrade this exit to a two-lane. And then we're going to go to the three-lane highway and upgrade this to a three-lane highway. And hopefully that will help a little bit. It'll give a little bit more clearance for the cars coming off the highway. Um, we are also... We can go ahead and hit play again. And actually, we didn't need to pause for that. But we are also going to upgrade all of these roads into bicycle paths uh so i'm gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna go ahead and fast forward and pick up the action in just a little bit after i upgrade all of these roads to bicycle paths okay welcome back picking up the action again we have upgraded all of these roads sorry all of these roads to bicycle lanes oh perfect time to pick up the action academic year report we lost some students that's not good um who all right, so we are getting three academic works per turn. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to exit out of that. Let's go ahead and check out the school. We'll go to the inspector tool. And let's produce another, give another grant for academic works. We'll go with IT and engineering, and we will bump the staff up again. Um, let's go ahead and go for 13,000 for right now. And that should hopefully get us there to the next turn. Let's go ahead and hit play again. Uh, we have upgraded all of these roads to bicycle lanes. Every single one of these roads now in this neighborhood has a bicycle lane, and you can see the people using the bicycle lanes. There's three stopped at that stoplight there, and they are actually using these bicycle lanes, and these bicycle lanes will help with your traffic immensely. So much will they help with your traffic. Uh, these are great things to build around your city. Uh, it is also advisable to build bicycle highways crossing from one part of town to the other. Going to shake it. Getting a milkshake after their bicycle ride. Uh, but crossing across town, you can build highways intersecting with everything. Um, Look at all that. Look at all these bicyclists. This is perfect. All right, so every street, we've got four lane bicycle streets. Uh, not the streets on campus, but all of the streets through these neighborhoods now have bicycle lanes. So instead of people walking everywhere, they can, they can ride their bike. And these guys, let's go ahead and pause this. So let's look at, let's go ahead and hit play. Let's look at, you can take the inspector tool and hover over one of these cyclists. And let's go ahead and look at their traffic route. Where are they going? Uh, they're not going very far. Let's look at someone else. Um, sometimes you'll click on these guys, and they're going clear across town. Huh. Oh, it's so finicky. Come on now. Right there. All right, let's check out his traffic route. Where is he going? Yeah, he's not going too far either. But sometimes they go clear across town. We'll go ahead and hit play. Um, and this should help with traffic immensely. Upgrading this highway intersection, uh, these highway lanes to a two-lane to get traffic off. And what I'm thinking of next, if this can kind of survive, is maybe doing this two-lane in a courier lane back here so that people jump off way back here instead of trying to veer off two lanes here. Uh, but we'll, we'll get to that. I think what we're going to have to do... I also deleted this road to make this just a three-way intersection. But look at all these cars. This is crazy. This is a crazy big city uh, in this area. Uh, so I believe we are going to have to put another intersection here and maybe wipe out all the work we did on Sunset District. However, it's just a few roads. That's not that bad. Uh, we should be fine. Everything on the city is looking good. We're still growing a little bit, not too much. Uh, we do have some industry demand. Elizabeth Farm seems to be doing good. Our industrial area seems to be doing good. And this thing is doing fantastic. I have not yet uh, changed the angle. Um, but that thing is doing fantastic. That seems to be managing traffic pretty well for right now. We do have a long line of cars there. And as you can see, it's not the best. But look at this. Six lanes of traffic trying to exit this area. That is a lot of traffic. 
um, they are doing what they can. And we have cycle lanes down now, so people are taking their bicycles. And they can take, you know, if you live all the way down here, you can take your bicycle. What just happened? What did we just move? I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> That's normally the sound of something moving. Anyway, they can take their bicycle all the way from down here, all the way up to their job, way up over here. They can then, th then take their bicycle all the way over to the aquarium or any of those shopping that they need to do on their way home. And then they can take their bicycle all the way back home. They never need to step foot in a car. And a lot of the Sims will never step foot in a car if you give them those options. That should cut down a lot of this traffic. You see most of this is trash trucks. That is what? 15 trash trucks waiting in line and they're gonna have to go all the way around and down but should be okay now we have a problem here and this is not enough goods to sell this will fix itself if a truck comes to deliver them goods if not the door of the building will close down and that's it that's the end of that but look at this we already have a few what like 20 30 story buildings um, this is a very, very large area of our town. This is most of the population in these couple areas. We are losing population. That is never good. Uh, however, I think we fixed this traffic problem for right now. As said, we plan on growing a little bit more. Um, not much more, really. And actually, what I would like to do, and relatively soon, is once we get to 80,000 come back through these areas and delete a lot of these buildings to make them look more natural. Um, make, give them a little bit more space in between each other. But as I said in past episodes, we need the population for right now. Traffic's looking good. The only ones that are really stuck are these guys who... city workers who don't mind. Um, there's a little bit of backup, but not too bad. We're doing okay, actually. Uh, maybe if we make this a one-way as well? You know, we might just make that a one-way. Why are people coming that way? I think that's going to fix our problem right there. Uh, we don't have a one-way in a bicycle lane, do we? No, decorative grass. One-way road. Yeah, we don't have it with a bicycle lane. We do have a four-lane with a bicycle lane, but I don't think a one-way. No. No. Um, hmm. So we wouldn't be able to do a bike lane there, but I think that would help traffic immensely. Yeah, that's gonna fix a lot of our traffic. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll do this. Just with decorative grass. This is going to help traffic so much. People can no longer turn around to come back down. This is, oh, this is gonna help traffic immensely. Uh, that should solve our traffic problems for a little while. See, they did not deliver the goods, so that is gone. And actually, what I'm going to do is go ahead... Never mind, something's already moved there. So, we can go to our info views and look at our dollar sign here, and you can see where your property values are. Um, high, high property value in our commercial areas here and up here and very high property values all around the college campus over here. Um, this is good. This is very good. This is very good. High property values down through here. All right, so uh, I would like to go back to our info views and check out our police. We're doing okay. Fires were a lot better. We could use another fire department down here. We have a million dollars, so I wouldn't mind going through real quick and adding a few things that we need. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy... Actually, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the corner there. So that'll help that. Uh, go back to our fire view. And do we have one here? We have one here. Yeah, I don't think we need to split that. I think that one's going to be gonna have to suffice. I think we will put another one here, though. Small one on the corner. Yeah. There we go. Another firehouse there. And that should answer all of our fire demand. We should be fine now. Oh, old town. Oak Park. Mm, should we? Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll put one on the corner up here. That'll take care of them. Everyone's fine on fire. Fire hazard's down to 29%. Uh, you can see a lot of the red 
is uh, the um, what am I trying to say? The the woods, the woods out on the outskirts. And if you just put down one of these watchtowers, this is a fire watchtower. And when you put one of those down, that circle all the way around it gets covered. So then instead of having a firehouse, you just have a watchtower there. Uh, now, I would also like to put down a fire helicopter depot, uh, but we're not going to do that yet. We'll worry about that in a couple episodes whenever we need it. Now, for our police, let's go ahead and go to the police station. Police is pretty good. I don't know why that's so red. That's interesting. Huh. The campus admin building is completely red for some reason. Interesting. Uh, I wouldn't mind maybe having on uh, campus security. That might be an alright plan. Hmm. I don't know why that's red. Uh, I think we have enough police stations down. I just don't understand why. Let's put one there for right now and see what happens. Yeah, it's still red. I don't understand why the campus admin building is red. Uh, it clearly has access to the police. And of course, um, here, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to turn this off for right now. We're just going to turn that off. Ah, okay, fine. What's it matter? It's just a bit of money. Let's go ahead and run a power line over. And there, they've got electric. Uh, it's interesting to me that the police is not covered by, uh, or the campus is not covered by the police. Sorry, getting a little bit distracted. Back to our info views. Education, we are doing good with elementary school. Couple red buildings, but pretty all right. Could maybe use another elementary school down here. Man. All right, well, maybe we need one. Uh, high school, eligible 3,000. We have capacity of 4,000. We're doing okay on high school. We may need another one here in Victoria Square. But for right now, we'll be all right. And university, eligible, 4,400, and capacity is only 3,700. So we're going to go ahead real quick and add another dormitory over here. Um, let's go ahead and put it... Let's just put it there for now. Uh, that'll get a little bit more student housing. We may have to reorganize some things there. But hopefully that'll get a little bit more student housing. There you go, capacity is now 4,000. Um, public libraries. We have no public libraries. We need to put some libraries down. Uh, it's good to have educated citizens. Public libraries. Let's put these everywhere. Uh, they are very big buildings, but... So let's go ahead and mirror these two, like we've been doing. Um, I don't have whatever that is. A dog park over there. So we're going to come right about there. I think that'll mirror it. Right there. Ooh, that is a big hillside, isn't it? Ah, that's okay. All right, so we've got a couple libraries down. Uh, let's put one, can we put one in the campus area? We can. Um, let's go ahead and put, eh, I don't think we need one in the campus area. We've got one there, one there. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and put one over here in Victoria Square. Sorry for whipping the camera around so much. Um, let's go ahead and put this down here at the end of the main street. Uh, that is, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it there. It's right across the street from the elementary. Uh, we did wipe out some houses, but other things will move there. That'll be fine. There we go. Property values skyrocketing all over the map. You can hear that. Um, yeah, we definitely need one or two over here. Let's see if we can put one next to... No... Not enough room at all. Um, so let's go ahead and put the public library off of this road, maybe? Let's see. Let's put... Sorry, I know I'm still whipping the camera around. Uh, let's go ahead and put one on the corner here. Mm. Let's put one there. And that'll sh be shared by... Yeah, that looks alright. Coming down this street, that looks okay. Uh, that'll be shared by Oak Park and Thornton Park. And then we will put another one. Hmm. Another one here? Yeah, I like that idea. Put another one there. We wiped out another house, but that's okay. 
And that will be just Thornton Park and a little bit of Grove District. And then we need one more over here in Grove District. And it's kind of nice to have these things kind of centered uh, because of the way that the radius goes out. Uh, but you know what we're going to do? We're actually, because these streets are all going to come out later, we're going to put it right there. Um, all of these streets are going to come out. I think I've discussed that in a past episode. But look at these property values skyrocketing. All right, so we've got, what, five libraries down? That'll help a little bit. Now we can go back to our screen here. Um, only 11 people using them, but we have 600 capacity. I think we're pretty good on education for right now. We do need to upgrade the university, but we'll be all right. Uh, this is your happiness index. Everyone's relatively happy. Population, land value we've discussed. Oh, land value is skyrocketing over here by this library. Look at that. All right. That is good. Oh, the library raised the land value so much. Okay. Uh, leisure. We don't have enough leisure things, definitely. Uh, definitely over here. Uh, outside connections, we have none. <laughs> um, transport, we have almost none. Traffic is 81% flow. This is a lot better. Yeah, that is pretty much fixed now. Uh, that's so much better. All right. And we do not have a road maintenance building. Garbage. This is the big one. Uh, processing, we're at 288. And production, we're at 215. All right. So that, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, will end today's episode. I had fun. Did you have fun? So to recap, bicycle lanes help traffic immensely. So many cyclists in the city. So many people will take advantage of these cycle lanes if you offer them. So many people walking around the town. Such a beautiful city. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here at CCSC. This is New Washington, D.C. We've got a lot more to do in the coming episodes. Uh, we will get this all the way to Megalopolis. Please join the fun, stay with us, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I release a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.